Hey guys, how are you? Good morning. I hope that you are okay. I hope that you have had a good weekend. Um, today we are going to start with the topic for your second quarter. We are going to start in your um, regular reading book uh, in page 18. So let's go to page 18. The story is called The Shriek in the Night. Okay. Remember that I um, help you answer half of those questions and then the other half you have to answer by yourself, okay? So let's start. Uh, today is uh, Monday, November the 2nd, 2020. If you wanna write it in your notebook, if you're using your notebook. Remember that nothing printed is gonna be accepted. Um, if you are printing the answers too, you can print the page, yes, but you have to write the answers with a pencil or a pen, not printing everything that you answered. No answers printed. I thought that you got that incorrect. So you can print the page and answer it with your hand, with a pencil, but that's it, nothing else. Okay, a shriek in the night. Have you ever been frightened by a sound in the night. A shriek is like a scream, but very, very loud noise. Savannah, that's a name, Savannah read under her covers with a flashlight until her eyes were closing. She switched up the flashlight and let her book drop to the rock beside her bed. She turned over and snuggled deeper into the soft flannel sheets. That's, that used to be, um, um, something that people used to do when they were younger because they didn't have TVs or cell phones on the hand so people would sleep until very late at night and then um, they would sl they would read with a flashlight because their lights were supposed to be off hidden on a blanket so the parents wouldn't see them number two it felt as though Zavanna had been sleeping for only a few minutes when she awoke with a start to a terrible blood curling scream she lay stiffly and silently in her bed, waiting to see what would happen. Her clenched muscles had just been begun to relax when she heard another scream, Ow! coming from outside her bedroom window. This scream was followed by a series of wails and shrieks. Ow! Savannah slipped from her bed and ran as quickly as she could to her parents' bedroom. Mom, she whispered urgently, did you hear that screaming? Savannah's mom was already awake, sitting up and hunting for sleepers. Savannah's dad continued to snore. <coughs> Neither Savannah nor her mother were surprised. Savannah's dad was notorious for being able to sleep through anything just like me. When he lived alone before he got married, he had to set three alarm clocks every night. He positioned them in various places around his bedroom to make sure that he would get up in time for work. That's a very, very heavy sleeper. Sometimes I'm like that, but I don't need three alarms. I need two. Savannah's mom finally found her sleepers and motioned Savannah toward the bedroom door. She shut the door behind them. What do you think it is, mom? asked Savannah. As we can see in the picture, both of them, the mother and Savannah, are looking at the window. Before mom could answer, she and Savannah heard the terrible shrieks again. Ah! They, waited on, they waited until it was over to speak. I'm pretty sure it's an animal, said mom. Let's see if we can spot anything through the kitchen window. Savannah and her mom scanned the dark, the dark backyard but couldn't see anything. They were getting ready to head back to bed when the noises began again. This time, they both looked up into the large old oak trees that towered over the backyard. They could see two small eyes gleaming in the moonlight from one of the highest branches. I think it's an owl, said mom, craning her neck to get a better look. All I can see are its eyes, though. I feel so much better, said Savannah, <whistles> with relief within her voice. Maybe we can look online in the morning and see if we can figure out what kind of owl is. She suggested, my teacher showed us a great website for wild animal identification. Savannah and her mom both returned to bed. They heard the owls cries one more time before they drifted back to sleep. But it didn't sound nearly as frightening anymore. In the morning, Savannah and her mom were able to identify the owl from the night before as a barn owl. 
They used the website that Ms. Petrovic recommended to listen the sound bites of different types of animals. As they were listening, Savannah's dad came downstairs for breakfast. What's all that racket? He asked cheerfully, pouring himself a glass of orange juice. Doesn't that sound all familiar, dad? Because he was sleepy when they were listening to it. As Savannah replayed the barn's old call, nope. Dad said, should it? Savannah and her mom just laughed because he was listening to those noises in the night, but he just didn't realize the noises. Then we have the questions. Write the words from the story that have the meanings below. Causing fear, held tightly together, needing immediate attention, well known for something unpleasant or unfavorable, or stretching the neck to see better. Let's see if we can find it. The causing fear is in paragraph. I think that it would be before paragraph number, I think that it would be before paragraph number one where it says, have you ever been frightened? Frightened means to be scared. And um, so far that's the only, I mean, the, that I found the only one that could be for um, causing fear. Then we have held tightly together, held tightly together. Uh, That's like uh, holding each other tightly. I think that clenched, clenched, where it says in paragraph number two says, her clenched muscles. So clenched muscles are held tightly together. Just like <gasps> that is held. So clenched muscles would be for the next one. Then we have uh, needing immediate attention. Mm. I mean, those are the ones that I find. I'm going to give you another one. Uh, I need any media attention. Oh, frightening. In paragraph number 10, you find frightening that it would also be for causing fear for number 10. Needed immediate attention would be... Whispered urgently could probably uh, be the meaning for um, 
needing immediate attention or at least they go together then you have well known for something unpleasant and stretching the neck to see better those two you're gonna find by yourself later we have number six number the events below to show the order in which they happened savannah switched off her flashlight when she was reading savannah and her mom saw the oils gleaming savannah's dad poured himself a glass of orange juice i think that that's the last savannah ran into her parents bedroom and savannah's mom, mom looked for slippers i think that the first one would be when she runs to her parents bedroom and then the last is when her dad pours himself juice the rest you're gonna find them by yourself then we have find one sentence that shows savannah was frightened by the screaming of she heard so you have to find a sentence that identifies savannah being afraid so if we go at the beginning of the story we will find a couple sentences um well in paragraph number three we have did you hear that screaming because she was afraid and um what do you think it is mom probably could be because she didn't know so the uncertainty and of not knowing could have made her afraid so you can write in there the sentence you don't have to read anything but the sentence then we have if savannah hears a barn all again someday do you think she will be frightened i mean she found what the reason was of the noise so i don't know if she would be frightened or not more than likely not so you can write probably not but you need to write why you need to write she if she remember complete sentences if savannah hears a barn all again she would not be afraid because now i guess now she knows what causes the noise then we have number nine what problem did savannah have in the story that's obvious that you have to write so you remember complete sentences savannah's problem in the story is that in the night she Number 10, why weren't Savannah and her mom surprised when the old cries didn't wake up Savannah's dad? As we were saying in there, he was a heavy sleeper. That's how you call them, a heavy sleeper. So you can write in there, Savannah and her mom were not surprised because Savannah's dad is a heavy sleeper. How were Savannah and her mom able to identify the old skull? Well, two reasons one they saw it in the tree they saw the eyes gleaming and two they went to the web and tried to research different animal sounds to identify the one that they were listening so you can write in there savannah and her mom identified the owl's call because they see the owl and because they <laughs> on the internet okay um that would be it this is a very it was complex the questions were complex at the beginning the first five make sure that you uh, find the five, four and five so we can discuss it on Wednesday and complete your story if you have to read you can read again please um, make sure that you finish everything and that you get ready for tomorrow so far this is it um, remember that I uh, you can print this page and just copy the answers uh, in complete sentences and also you can use your notebook to copy everything but nothing in computer um, I hope that I can see you tomorrow and I hope that you are well remember guys work in your notebook bye guys